Some of these threats are, uh, are pretty graphic and, uh, you know, certainly inappropriate. That's why we're taking them so seriously. Now on Local 5, Green Bay's police chief responds to threats made against city council members after that mask mandate. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The issue of requiring face coverings in public has caused a divide in many communities in Northeast Wisconsin. And that includes the city of Green Bay. You might remember that on Tuesday night, the city council voted 7 to 5 to require the use of masks in public buildings. The ordinance takes effect on Monday. There are exemptions in place for those with health problems, and masks will not be required for children under the age of 5. Now, just one day after the mask ordinance was passed by the Green Bay City Council, a number of city officials started receiving death threats. And as Chris Schuler reports, Green Bay police are doing what they can to find those responsible. Older Bill Galvin says the debate leading up to the vote on a masking ordinance in Green Bay this week was often heated with hundreds of emails from constituents sent his way. This is absolutely the most contacts I've had from citizens in over five years as an alder. And but it's one email in particular that came into his inbox after he voted for the proposal that now has police involved. Kind of a rambling thing that went on for three or four paragraphs, talking about being a traitor, um, having to beg for forgiveness, and then uh, being hung. But Galvin wasn't the only one sent a threatening email. He went off on, you know, uh, tyranny and liberty and God and, and uh, you know, all tyrants must die. So too was older Randy Scannell. Came across as a little uh, unbalanced. Along with other city council members, the mayor, city clerk, and police chief Andrew Smith, who alerted all in a separate email to take these threats seriously. I wanted to make sure all the alders were aware of it so that uh, they could increase their awareness and use appropriate action, take appropriate cautions. But these threats are, uh, are pretty graphic and, uh, you know, certainly inappropriate. Chief Smith says his detectives are investigating the emails and are working with the FBI to try and locate those responsible, the person or persons who've threatened our elected officials. I'm, I guess I'm more aware of my surroundings and the people I'm becoming in contact with. Whose safety has been threatened for just doing their jobs. There's no place in our society for making threats against people, especially against our elected officials. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. By the way, it was Alderman Scannell who is the person who initially proposed the masking ordinance in Green Bay. Well, this